Alrighty guys, welcome back to another edition of Crowsplaining the Internet. We are your humble hosts, the DNA Crows, from a small YouTube channel located in Northern California. Oh god, that's so painful to listen to. It's so wrong. There, there's no, hey, this is the, oh my god, now I can't even do the intro right. I just play the intro, do the intro, then do the song! Pretty oh, yeah. sure that's copyright infringement of some sort. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, we're going to be talking about the whole situation going on with uh, Kyle Kashoff. We did a video on it a while back. Um, Link for that in the description. Do we do we have decent audio on that video? Uh, yeah, I think that's right around when we started to uh, watch it. Pump up the volume. Okay. Um, yeah, no, so if anyone is unaware, Kyle Kashoff, when he was 16 years old, um, he had private messages with this group of friends where he was using the N-word to he describe... He was doing racisms. I mean, I guess. <laughs> like, here's the thing. I grew up in the age of South Park, and I just remember people saying so much yeah, worse. I mean, he makes a good point. He, uh, I mean, not a good point. I mean, racism's not okay. No, but it's I, edgy. We all said edgy things when we were younger. But he... It wasn't like he... Well, it, here, here's the thing. He was not tweeting these out. He wasn't blasting out. He wasn't talking about how black people were this or... It wasn't any of that. He was having private messages with a group of friends when he was 16 before the whole Parkland incident ever took place. Yeah. Um, Which he has stated had changed his um, I, I outlook think, on things I ever think since. it would change anyone's oh, life. Yeah. But... Uh, Apparently not. No, this is uh, just desserts, uh, according. To, so I, let me let me not bury the lead with what's going on here. Um, Kyle Kashoff had his uh, admission to Harvard rescinded. Um, there were a bunch of people basically talking about how he didn't deserve to go because of those uh, messages. Remember when these, he was sixteen. Yeah. I don't know. That's just disgusting for me. Yeah. Um, and, and it's just because I remember people saying so much worse. Um, in public, like it, shouting it out at people. What makes me and believe I know they weren't bad, so what, what makes me believe that? that he really like was just saying it to be edgy was because it's not like he was just saying the N word. He also was making Jewish jokes, and he is Jewish. Yeah, let's yeah, but so it let's, makes me think let's, that let's he was not just let's not discuss edgy. things that don't fit the narrative. Dean, come on. Oh, you're right. Yeah, come on. Jesus. You're a bad person. Yeah, I mean, we were basically perfect. Gosh, let me just be honest. We were perfect when we were 16 years old. I've never made a mistake. Never. I didn't. I am a well-oiled machine. Yeah, I wasn't, uh, I wasn't like, playing World of Warcraft until 3 in the morning talking about uh, Naga stole my bike. I don't get it. What's that? Oh, my God. You don't know the joke? No. Jesus. I don't play World of Warcraft. Okay, so there's this character class. I, I just got to say this. There's this character class of World of Warcraft. And they're called Nagas, right? Are you cross so, explaining to me right yeah, now? Yeah, I'm explaining to you. Just <laughs> listen, because you're, you're never going to get memes on the internet if you don't understand World of Warcraft. Just like you don't understand JoJo's, you're so out of touch. Um, anyways, they, they're just this serpent class, and they're bad guys in the game. Mm -hmm. So Naga sounds like something else, and there was a whole guild that was called Naga Stole My Bike. What's it, Naga sound like? Think about it, Dean. Uh, huh? Oh, <laughs> naggers! <laughs> yeah, so... Anyways, it, that's the thing. I, I just remember that. And don't get me wrong, I've been called the N-word. They just had sand in front of it. Yeah. So, I just... Um, I, I don't know how to feel about this, just because to me it was never... When I'm saying it's not a big deal, obviously, if you're an adult and you're saying this shit out in public and you're actually doing it to be demeaning, yeah, yeah, I would have a serious problem with you. If you're a 16-year-old kid and you're having private conversations, I'm just going to call you a dumbass kid. Yeah. The thing is, though, none of the stuff he said happened after the Parkland incident, so I can't say that that didn't change his character. He's 18 now. It's obviously politically motivated. Um, you know, I'll shoot you the tweets that I was having with this one dude. Um, who's trying to go about, well, this is racist remarks and Harvard has every right to do this. Problem is, he started off the conversation by saying, well, it's okay to be edgy. No one's talking about that. But it's really dumb how he's doing this over social media where it's recorded digitally. 
So like, so your problem isn't with the content; it's that he it's got caught. It's where he was with the content. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> basically, that's what you're. I mean, saying. if he was never caught, would people really care? As, if it essentially, happened? that's what he was saying. So I'm saying they're going like, "Yeah, this is my issue with people on the left. You guys engage in this sort of shit. You know, you do. You just haven't been caught." Well, I mean, the left actually has a lot of, um, you know, actually uh, speaking I mean, of that, because yeah. uh, Mike Cernovich, who I really wasn't happy with, he was tweeting out. Because uh, he does not like Kyle Kashoff, mm-hmm. specifically because of some people. Because, I don't know, this whole Shapiro thing. I have Dude, no clue. I would, that was my favorite. Um. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me let me just go over this real quick, because he tweeted this out. Um, and uh, I'm sure you'll use your amazing editor skills to put it on the video. March for Our Lives. Wait, 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 wait. Is it on the screen now? I can't tell because I don't have the digital technomancer skills. No, just imagine. Imagine. I see two Ooh. bunnies. Alright, that's it. <laughs> that's now me. I want to play with the bunnies. Shut up. Bunnies play with the bunnies, George. Play with the bunnies. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, March for Our Lives co founder Matt Dyche. Matt Dyche? With rape jokes and N word tweets. I wonder if the media will treat him as they did Kyle Kashov or give him that nice liberal privilege pass. So the March for Our Lives is basically the opposite of what Kyle Kashov's activism is. They're all about restricting gun rights. Um, You know, and I I don't think that their ill intent, uh, I'm saying that wrong. I don't think that they're out there with a uh, bad intent for what they're trying to do. I think that they're misguided, but here's the thing. Kyle Kashoff's stuff was private when he was 16 years old. Um, this stuff, I mean, I'm just going to read some of it. Um, and I'm going to finally take some advice from the senpais and uh, stop uh, stop actually saying these words on, on the video. So I apologize to anyone who enjoyed me saying uh, naughty words. Oh, do I got to bleep that? No. Nope. Gotta... Oh, if you do bleeps, you know what you should do? A no, I just, I, no, I mean like blur out the word. I don't think so, no. Oh God. Um, when the girl you R-A-P-E is talking to the cops. <laughs> uh, this is from 2015. And at this point, this is what we're doing. Then I'm just... Okay, I, I, no, I'm, like, not, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not down with edgy jokes. That just didn't even yeah, come okay. off as like a joke. At Brycord, if she's selling SCX for money, where does R-A-P-E come into it? Isn't that just like shoplifting? What? <laughs> Hashtag Nagas be like, I don't eat ass. I don't. Yeah, but I mean, just you can so, see the image, just right? Just so everybody knows. And I'm saying Nagas, I'm not saying the other one. Nagas is going to be more replacement. That's like a mean dick, so. though. Yeah, you do. <laughs> <laughs> but look, okay, this this is my point of bringing it up. It's not to drag this guy. It's not because I want people tweeting at him and going like... <laughs> um, it's just... Look... His stuff was like public tweets. This stuff didn't like, need to be come off as like funny jokes. He I just came off as like. But he's trying. He's, but trying, guess, he's uh, trying to people, be edgy. He's people trying have to different be senses edgy. of humor. So I, I, don't get me wrong. He's just trying to be edgy. He's trying to get attention. He's yeah, trying to be. Shocking. I definitely wouldn't punish him for it years later. Look, Kyle Kashoff's stuff was private between his friends. I mean, and all that stuff was prior to the Parkland incident. I, I just I don't see why people are so intent and they're going like well he, he needs to atone he needs to be a punishment he, he needs to have his Harvard uh, uh, scholarship rescinded because of things he said when he was 16 years old privately yeah like what well, the hell is wrong with these people well I'd like to make the uh, make the uh, statement that if people like Seth MacFarlane were on the right they would get shit on so bad. You're Seth MacFarlane, the creator of uh, Family, Family Guy, which constantly has extremely racist jokes, and I mean, I don't care. They're jokes. Well, um, here, here's the thing. They constantly have... the. the they, they are not going to go after Seth MacFarlane. They're not going to go after South if Park. If he was on the right, they would. Well, they're not going to go after South Park or, or Seth MacFarlane. They're not going to go if after they were, these people. If they were very... Hold on, if they were hold conservatives, on before, they you, before you say anything. They're not going to go after them just because there's no benefit to going after them. If they were conservatives, there would be a benefit. Yeah, well, you're right. That's, what, the, that's the thing, my point. But, but the thing is, there, there's no benefit to it. And on top of that, who does Seth MacFarlane work for? And that's not me being a dick. I just mean, you know, 
he works for one of the one one of the people that controls these major legacy media outlets. You really think they're going to go after Seth? No, McCarthy? I don't. A meal ticket for no, him? No, that's my point. Though I don't yeah. think they they're gonna. But if he was a conservative, you best believe they would. Perhaps. Not even perhaps. I, I, I'm not saying that per, perhaps it would depend if he's, you know, out there politically speaking. And But they, they try to drag his show, um, the Orville. They, they, they always try to drag Orville, even though that show's definitely got some super progressive elements to it. Yeah. And I like the Orville, so, you know, fuck off. Um, God damn it, I just swore. I was trying not to. Can you bleep that out with, like, a Charmander noise? I could try. Char- <laughs> uh, uh, I'll see what I can do. But no, uh, guys, um, again, look, he's he he did some stupid shit when he was a kid. I mean, what do you want me to say? He, he should not have his scholarship revoked from uh, Harvard. And, you know, reading through the uh, thread, it didn't seem like Harvard was all that intent on pulling the no, they, scholarship. They seemed like they were actually willing to talk to him. Um, he, he did apologize when it came out. He wasn't sitting there going... He was wondering what he could do to make the situation. He contacted the Office of Diversity and blah, 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 which is total bogus to me, but whatever. Um, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm an Arab from the Bay Area. Let me just be very clear. These progressive people are some of the most racist motherfuckers you'll ever meet. Um, but no, this is obvious pressure from mm-hmm. people going crazy on Twitter. You know, you, have, like- you have people in media that absolutely hate this kid because his politics aren't right for them. And yeah, you bet. I mean, oh, yeah. going back to my original point, if Kyle Kashov was a leftist, they'd have been like, ah, oh, he was a kid. Well, it's like that's the reason why I brought up this whole Matt Dyche thing. That, uh, and hey, you know what? I'm going to apologize if I'm saying that name wrong because I have no clue who this guy is. Other Can than just, he's, uh... he's a co-founder of the March for Our Lives. You know, he's out there actually sending out tweets using the N word. He's out there making jokes about rape and these aren't private he's tweeting these out for everybody to see they ain't gonna they they don't care they're not gonna say anything they're gonna demand that he leave the march for our lives no because his politics are right Hmm? um i just want to mike uh cernovich's tweet um kyle kkk told me during a call i want to build my brand and ben shapiro is the best way for me to do it probably that was, I mean, it's a good route to go. Uh, that was when he cut off all contact with Ollie and the C.J. Pearson. I like C.J. Pearson. Because Ben told him not to talk to them. Those are facts, and I got phone records to back it up. Let's see him. Gosh. <laughs> Why but, does anyone care? Like, wait, hold on. But Did then, you get that from my Twitter? Well, yeah, I retweeted your thing, and then remember, I added some stuff. Oh, okay. But my favorite part of this is, I'm, I'll read my tweet, and you'll see it right there. Boo, 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 boo. Um, Take it out <laughs> of the screen. Um, seriously, he calls him Kyle KKK, and then tells a story about Kyle saying he wants to build his brand with Ben Shapiro. <laughs> I typo there. I didn't put a D at the end of build. You'll see that. Boop, boop, boop. Um, <laughs> his brand with Ben Shapiro. As if Ben Shapiro legitimizes the nickname Kyle KKK. Let me rephrase that. As if wanting to build your brand with the Jewish guy could somehow prove you're KKK affiliated. Like, that is... My, my whole issue with Cernovich putting out the whole KKK Kyle and Kyle KKK is... You know, Cernovich, I, sometimes he gets things right, sometimes he gets things wrong, but he's clearly playing into that outrage culture because he just doesn't like Kyle Kashoff. Yeah. I mean, I don't give a shit, man. Grow the fuck up. Like, seriously, dude, have have a single shred of integrity there. If you don't like somebody, as much as I don't like many people who are constantly spouting off absolute nonsense and yeah, garbage. As, as much as I don't like this guy. As I fucking hate I this guy. Still I still put up with him. You, you, you don't drag He's people. good for the channel. I am good for the channel. Um, no, you, you don't drag people simply because you, you feel good about dragging them because they're going through some shit. Like, he should not have his scholarship pulled for shit he said when he was 16 years old before the whole Parkland thing happened. The only people you drag are dead others. That's not even going to make it into the video. That's totally <laughs> making it into the video. All right. No, and I, I don't look. I don't have anything more to say about this because if you look at the people responding to a lot of this stuff, 
they are very open about the fact that they just want a pound of flesh from the kid. They they don't care. They 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 don't accept his apology. Um, they they're still calling him a racist for shit he said when he was sixteen. I, I would, would you? I would like to hear from anybody in the comment section. Yeah. Um, I mean, in the comment section, what would you like to hear from me? If they have never made a racist comment when they were sixteen. I mean, I probably did. I know you did. I did. We what grew up say? together. What I say specifically? Say it on camera. I'm not sure. I just because context don't matter. So once you say it, I'm going to call you the racist. Because <laughs> that's how it works, folks. I, I said racist things when I was 16. I thought it was edgy. I mean, essentially, that's just the, all it the, is. The amount of Jewish jokes this kid has told. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know exactly what I'm talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs>